What up, folks? Been a while. Heck, uh, camera problems, but I'm back. Hopefully, I could continue trying to do these little reviews or previews or whatever. But Bucks in a win over San Francisco, 21-0. Yes, 21-0. The defense is looking like the defense of old. They were balling with uh, Jerry McCoy getting his first sack. Uh, they shut down Frank Gore. He had no running room. I think he averaged. I think he it was 1.5 yards per carry. I don't know, but that's a pretty good job stopping one of the best running backs in the league. Uh, Rondé getting his 40th pick interception. Could have taken it to the house, but you know he kind of old, so you know he doesn't have the little speed like he used to have or whatever. But he still has this. Uh, yeah, Josh Freeman played a decent game. I mean, didn't have the big numbers, big yardage, but he did smart. He had smart plays, took care of business, no turnovers. Uh, did we do? And LeGarrette Blunt coming up. Uh, this is what we needed in Tampa: a running back that could pound the ball, get five yards per carry around there. Uh, and he did a pretty good job as well as Cadillac coming in on third downs off those little draw plays you know doing what we do he scored a little six yard touchdown but uh yeah this team is getting pretty good but they for some reason they still don't get the uh recognition that they deserve I mean I know we've been playing teams that are not that that good but this is the NFL any team can win any given Sunday you know so come on we're seven and three a little bit of you know recognition in the league please but uh next week we play Baltimore see if we could go up there uh, and uh, come out with a win and see if people will start talking about the Bucks because Baltimore is a pretty good team I think I looked on NFL.com this little list from analysts or whatever they were like they had them up there like in top three top five so we get a win against them let's see um, but yeah oh another subject I mean this is totally off I know but it's back to the little Atlanta game or Atlanta or whatever they keep talking about Roddy White okay Roddy White he's a good receiver he's a good receiver and yeah I don't take nothing away from the man but when they played the Bucks, what did he do? I think he had what two, three catches. The Bucks shut him down, or a key to lead. But hey, again, Bucks get no recognition. But yeah, I mean, he could, he played, didn't do good against the Bucks. No, nobody said nothing. But when he plays, when he starts balling and plays against other teams or whatever, then you know. Blah, 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 blah. That's why I can't wait till the Bucks play the Falcons again, because I believe the Bucks could have beat the Falcons. I think they lost. I think the loss was uh, Legarrette Blunt's fault because he could have. He there was a hole. They could have ran straight up. It was just a linebacker waiting for him on the goal line, a little bit behind the goal line. Come on, Blunt. I mean, I know you. The guy is a linebacker, but you're big and you can run the guy, or at least try to run the guy over. You could push a little bit, break the plane with the ball. But no, he wanted to bounce to the outside and try to go that way. But it's okay. He's a rookie, whatever. Uh, but yeah, we could have won that game. Because if we would have scored, I can guarantee you Matt Ryan was not going to lead his Falcons to score within like a minute and something left on the clock. Because the Bucks defense had tightened up and they, was, they were letting nothing, nothing go. That's okay. Wait, we'll wait till the Bucks take care of business against Baltimore and then Atlanta comes here and that'll be a good game but yeah keep going Bucks keep pounding keep doing what you do keep getting wins because that's all that matters we're still right there one game behind the Falcons in the NFC South we're tied with the uh, with the Saints and the Panthers maybe next year y'all but yeah, keep going, and uh, Baltimore, here we go. Let's try to get through Ray Lewis and them. Yeah, that's a Super Mario song. But yeah, check y'all out next week or whatever, another video. I'm back. 
sorry for leaving. All right, peace. Oh, and just in case anybody says Roddy White was injured, okay, he played the whole game. I think he said they said he was injured after the game was done that he was injured, but he played the whole game and he didn't do anything. So.